Welcome to another Geek Spunk Animal Questions and Answers. Let's check today's question. How do frogs hibernate? Frogs are capable of surviving in a wide range of climates and environments thanks to their various survival strategies. Some species use hibernation to cope with cold winter temperatures in temperate regions. During hibernation, the frog's metabolism slows down and it relies on its stored energy to sleep through the winter in a protected space called the hiberneculum. When spring arrives, the frog wakes up and leaves its hiberneculum to reproduce and find food. Other species use a similar survival strategy called estivation to cope with hot, dry conditions. During estivation, the frog enters a state of torpor in which it slows down its metabolism and becomes inactive in order to conserve energy and survive in harsh conditions. Some aquatic frog species, such as the leopard frog or the American bullfrog, hibernate underwater during the winter. Contrary to popular belief, these frogs do not bury themselves in the mud at the bottom of a pond or stream to hibernate. If they did, they would suffocate due to the lack of oxygen. Instead, they need to be near oxygen-rich water and can be found lying on top of the mud or partially buried, or even swimming slowly from time to time. Other animals like aquatic turtles are able to bury themselves in the mud at the bottom of a pond or stream during hibernation. This is because their metabolism slows down so much that they can survive on a small amount of oxygen available in the mud. Frogs are unfortunately unable to do this. Terrestrial frogs such as the American toad and wood frogs typically hibernate on land during the winter. Good diggers like American toads burrow deep into the soil below the frost line to find shelter. Other species like the spring peeper are not as skilled at digging and instead seek out deep cracks and crevices in logs and rocks. Or they can dig down as far as they can in leaf litter. These types of areas may not offer as much protection from the cold and may freeze along with the frogs. Frogs though are able to survive freezing temperatures during hibernation thanks to their natural antifreeze a high concentration of glucose in their vital organs. When a frog's hiberneculum falls below freezing, ice crystals may form in its body cavity, bladder, and under the skin. However, the glucose prevents the frog's vital organs from freezing, even if the body appears to be frozen. When the temperature in the hiberneculum rises above freezing, the frozen parts of the frog's body will thaw and its heart and lungs will start working again, making it appear as if the frog has come back to life. I find this is one of the coolest things about frogs. What are some of your favorite things about frogs and toads? Do you have any other facts you really like about frogs? Make sure to post in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. Make sure to boop that like button, comment, and subscribe. Maybe you'll like one of these two videos on your screen. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you next time.